it doesn't necessarily fly very well, to be perfectly honest. But I'm happy with this. And that's about what happened to the actual space shuttle. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Hobby Link and we're here in this car which might look like any ordinary car but I can tell you it is not any ordinary car because today we are not checking out the most popular creations on the workshop um, since well I did that this week already but I've kind of run out of ideas I've done a lot of videos in this week um, already for like the next couple of weeks so I thought um, why not just look on the workshop pick out some cool creations just randomly and try them out. So there's no limitations to which creations I have chosen. So, I think... What is this? Okay, that's cool. So, apparently, you can go... Like this. And then you can pitch up. And there we go, we're in a flying car, everybody. And then... Okay, this is so cool. What is this? I don't understand how people make stuff like this. This is literally a flying car. Um, yeah, and it looks really cool even when it's not flying as well. Um, some of you might have seen the Harry Potter films. And that's what just looking at this reminds me of. Harry Potter. Um, yeah. Apparently to pitch up you have to use left mouse button. Um, so obviously it doesn't pitch up that well. But that's fine. I... I Still really like the way this thing flies. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. It's more stable when you put the wings out. But it's still a little bit difficult to control. Come on. Fly. Oh. All I want to do now is take this thing off and uh, land it again. But this is so cool. I don't understand how people make stuff like this. So here's a long stretch of open road. So if we turn it back to alt mode, put the beacon on. Well, that stops you flying to start with, doesn't it? There you go. That's so cool. I'm loving this thing. It's actually really easy to control. Me being rubbish at controlling it is nothing to do with how this thing flies. Okay, and nice pitch up. It actually floats in the air. How has he done this? It has like reverse flus. And as you can see, it literally is floating. And then we can turn it off alt mode and we can drive off. That is so cool. Anyway, let's get out another creation. This is by the inscrutable, by the way. Okay, so the next creation might be less interesting for a lot of people. This is simply a coach. But the detail on this thing, the looks of this thing, made me want to uh, um, give it a go. So if I get out, I just want to have a look around some of the features. So uh, the door. Oh, it's got a working door. It doesn't just... Oh, that's so cool. I don't know where the switch has gone. Where's the switch? So I found the switch now. Um, it's in there, it's one of the, the driver has a switch up there, which controls the door, so, uh, if we come up in here, at least there's, a, there's actually room for Bob to walk around in this, some of them you have to use, like, you have to jump around, here we go, door one and door two, we'll open door two as well, guessing that's that one, yeah, whoa, look at that, that is so cool, I'm loving this. Right, let's go around to the front. I think it's got an opening bonnet. Oh, there's spare tyres in there. That's cool. That is cool. I'm lo loving this. Um, How do I shut the spare tyre? There we go. Shut the spare tyre thing. You can open that, which is uh, storage. Okay. You can open this, which is um a horn. Interesting. Is the, is is the engine in the back? Yeah, it's in the back. In uh, Busters, it certainly is, but I don't. I wasn't sure about. Whoa! It's actually spinning. You can see all the way down the middle. That's kind of cool, though. I like that. 
This is cool. Can you go in every single compartment? Are these, uh, yeah, more engine panels. Interesting. And I believe you can go into, like, the side. That's cool. I'm loving how he's done that. That's where you uh, put the luggage. So that's cool. Cool, let's go up in here. And uh, there's some hot and cold. I'm guessing that's meant to be, like, a tap. And you can go in the toilet, I presume. Yep. Lovely. He has uh, made a toilet. That's all nice. Very small area for the toilet. But as you can see... The coach goes all the way back, and I'm amazed they don't have seats in the middle here. They normally do, um, but overall, really cool creation. End text. Mm, I guess you can customize it. Uh, the time. What is all this? Ah, <gasps> the baggage compartment's open. Whoa, this just gets so much cooler. Um, interesting. So overall, really, really cool creation. Actually, um, I'm loving it. I need to remember that this isn't the uh, most popular creations this is me just messing around with some creations but i'm loving it i'm really loving it i i just like it i don't know maybe it's not the most interesting thing to play with on its own necessarily or use on its own but it could be worse okay so that creation was by sky sad hmm but it's got loads of stuff as you can see down there um yeah next we will do this, hmm, the, uh, exploration truck by Lick, Dick, the, there you go, and, uh, it has lots of bricks, working indicators, and articulated tracks. Action one is right blinker, left blinker, headlights, lock track articulations. Interesting, let's, uh, explore it, shall we? Oh my goodness, it's like a, that's so cool, this is so cool, um, it's got, like, Really cool tracks, there we go. And we'll drive. Okay, that's cool. Can't remember, what was the button for lock track articulations? Uh, I can't actually remember. Give me a minute. Right, okay, it's T. My dog has erupted in the background. He suddenly decided that he uh, wants something. And I don't know what he wants. What does d pressing T actually do? Well, um, well, the tracks are wobbling on their own individually at the moment. Is that what it changes? Maybe. If we change it off. No, they still kind of move on their own. I don't know. But it's, this is cool though. Isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. What is that? Engage. Oh, it's a switch. There we go. Uh, so, if we put on the parking brake, let's get out and uh, let's have a look around. So, I don't believe you can open the doors, but you should be able to go in the back, I think. Interesting. There we go. Nice. And now let's go up. 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 Okay, so Bob has a bit of trouble jumping up that very steep ramp. But, it's not too bad. There we go. Um, whoa. Okay, so there's quite a lot of interior. He's used a lot of the textures, um, bunk beds, there's no toilet, there's a light switch, that's nice, and overall, again, quite cool, loving the way he's built that, has lots of uh, ropes and things, and uh, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the next creation is a bit weird to, when it stands alone, but this is AIS, um, and my dog's barking again, he waited while I found it, but anyway, as you can see, it's got guns, and it's fully automatic. Look how cool that is. I'm confused what's happened. There we go. Try again. Right, okay, my seat fell out. Um, there you go, it's got aiming. That's so, that's kind of cool though. Um, you control it using alt mode, and yeah, you can fire rockets. That's so cool. That must be so destructive, though. Um, you know what? It's me. I'm going to have to destroy it. In destroy something with it. Okay, so here are two kind of cool creations. Here's a Ford and an off-road trailer. Um, they both look really cool. And, uh, yeah, let's blow them up. It's not just any Ford, by the way. It is a Ford tractor. I'm not that... 
I'm not that stupid. But um, yeah, so let's get into oh this mode. I'm actually going to slow down time. There you go. And I'm going to... There you go. And then I'm going to shoot. Here we go. Um... Interesting. Oh yeah, I've got my time set really low. Look at that. That's so cool though. Let's uh, speed it up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's uh, come out of that. And let's go back to full speed. Look at that. Yes. Take it out. Take out the trailer. Take out the other trailer that I forgot to remove. Come on. Ah, I can't shoot it down. Right. Uh, come on. Up. There we go. Oh, there we go. If you slow down time, it actually means that you can be more precise with your controls in alt mode. But that's... Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, and it's broken again. Cool. I never actually fired the rockets, did I? Wait, go back to here. If there's anything left, it's dead now. But this is really cool. Right, okay, let's uh, remove all vehicles. Okay, so this is a cool car train, like land train or whatever. And look how cool this is. Whoa. It's using the monster truck wheels, which does mean that it's probably not going to last for very long. And uh, you just drive it like a normal car. It also has a crane that you can use. But I don't know what it is. Oh, so there's cargo beds. One minute. What's in here? What's in all this? Just an engine. Well, I think that's really cool. It's all about the looks, really. Let's have a look. There we go. Crane. Um, it's a pretty small crane, but, you know, it works as it's supposed to. Uh, that's cool, actually. I do, I, I like this. There we go. Let's take it down the canyon. Okay, so we're here at the top of the canyon, and let's go. This is not going to go well, but I'm amazed. It's quite slow, but I, is it meant to be based on a real thing? Anyway, I'll show you in a minute the uh, page, and we can read it. But that, it looks so cool. I don't understand what it is, but it looks really, really cool. And there we go. And you can load up, like, boxes, containers or something on the back. And, um, yeah, let's drive this. Oh, goodness. The trailers like to slide out, as it turns out. Now, the monster truck wheels have really, really slow turning. But, oh, goodness, no. No, turn the other way, turn the other way. Oh, this can't go well. What is this? Here we go. It doesn't break very well when you have slow-mo on, to be honest. But there we go. That's cool. I like, I'm like. i liking that, you know? Cool, so uh, let's get on to uh, the next creation. Okay, so we're here in the uh, editor again, because I need to read out who everything is by. So the AA gun is by Tom Bed five seven eight. The off road utility trailer is by Skip. The Ford four six hundred is by G C. And um, the uh, the land train is by Bop. Uh, oh, here we go. It says. Made by Letourneau during the 1950s for the U.S. Army, intended to be used for hauling cargo. That's so. It's a real thing. That's cool. Um, yeah. Let's. Um, this is the Reliant Robin shuttle space shuttle launch. Um, so those of you who watched Top Gear will probably remember this is a very, very good episode. You should check that out. I will link it if I remember. Um, 
So it's got one driver, and it says rocket controls. Seven to disconnect from base plate. One to activate boosters. Two to separate boosters from the tank. Three to separate the shuttle from the tank. Okay, not hard. WASD to drive on the ground. H for headlights. J for warning lights. Q for fog lights. Why has it got all these lights? Pitch for orbital thrusters. Oh. Alt plus throttle for main engines. Steering to roll in the air and view pitch roll. Enjoy this wacky and strange space shuttle creation as far as I know. This is the only version of the uh, Top Gear space shuttle on the workshop. Let's check this out then. I saw this. It's... I really hope this makes it to the most popular creations because this is so cool. Um, we'll launch it off this uh, nice headland or whatever. Outcrop here. And those of you who have watched the uh, actual episode will remember that it didn't go as well as they actually planned it to go. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to do better than Top Gear did. Hmm. Chances that are zip. Okay, it's quite explosive, but um, that's okay. So the chances of that are about zero. What happens if we bring it up? God mode it. Wait for it to land. There we go. It's going to take off wonkily. Hmm, we can't have that, can we? We need it on a flat area. Is, it, is there like a road? A flat stretch of road? Um, will it fit on the road is the question. Yes, it will. Okay, let's just place it there. There we go. Nice, and the Top Gear Space Shuttle is ready for launch. Now I can feel this going wrong, so let's um, see. So page up and page down is orbital thrusters. Interesting. Okay, so we need alt mode on. Here we go. Oh, I can't feel, can't see this going right. Here we go. One. Oh yeah. One. Here we go. Here we go. We're launching. We're already doing better than Top Gear. Actually, I know we're not. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and deploy the boosters. Oh my. Deploy the orbiter. There we go. Um, interesting. Okay. I'm surprised he made it fly in the thing. That was one of the problems. Was it being able to fly. So, um, if he, he made it fly, it's obviously possible, isn't it? Right, okay. Oh my goodness. It doesn't necessarily fly very well, to be perfectly honest. But I'm happy with this. And that's about what happened to the actual space shuttle. It's cool though. I'm loving loving the creation. I just wish it worked. But the actual thing didn't work as I said, so uh Okay. Uh, try again. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one. That was not what I was intending to do. There we go. We're off. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we're then gonna stop those engines and deploy the boosters. Yep, they're off. Cool. And then Drossel up, there we go. Ah oh, it was doing so well. Come on. Oh no, okay. Deploy the fuel tank. But this thing is so cool. I've broken the camera. There we go. We'll have we'll fly it like this. Ugh. I'm tossing up towards the ground.
Come on, pull up. Pull up. Oh. Yeah, this thing does not fly well. At all. It might just be my flying, but... Oh, my goodness. Wait. Hang on a second. Did we just do that? Okay, it hit the ground quite hard, and okay, bits fell off. Like the whole front. But... Oh my goodness, we made it work. We did this. How on earth? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Check out my Discord. Thanks for watching again. And, uh, yeah. Remember, Top Gear Space Shuttles are awesome. Goodbye. <laughs>